Do so you have me on the team? We, we didn't do predictions this year. Uh -huh. <laughs> we learned our lesson. Uh, 50, 54 last lap. Um, yes. Did you know you had that? Um, I knew that I was going to kick no matter what. You know, I didn't know. It helps when you have someone to, to focus on and to hot down. So I was just kind of pushing. And with 500 to go, they slowly started to come back. And I was like, all right, it's just it's, however fast I got to go, I'm going to try and go that fast. Why did you let that group move, uh, get that big lead on you guys? Because it was like those three pulled away and you yeah. kind of were leading that second pack. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's probably one of my biggest faults is I'll, I'll fall asleep in a, in a race like that. But I mean, it wasn't slow. It wasn't like it was a slow race. And they, um, when I, I knew Grant might take off with 1,200 to go, that's how Grant runs, and he knows that's how to beat me. And uh, I told my coach before the race, like, if Grant does that, it's going to be tough to, to cover that move because that's just not how I race. But, um, you know, I... In the situation that I was at, that's I made the best choice for myself, I think. Yeah. Well, I was looking at who's up there, and I was like, Abdi is a grinder. That guy's like pretty. He's pretty straightforward. Like he'll, he can just knock off 60s. So I thought maybe I could maybe catch him. Um, but uh, um, I think it was Emmanuel that was also up there. And, uh, He's, he's someone I thought I could maybe kick down to, but I don't think there was any time where I was like, I'm going to catch these guys. I was just all, with 500 to go, I was just like, I'm just going to catch as many people as I can. I just ended up being both of them. Was there a game plan for Evan to take the lead after a bit and kind of help out from the front? And was it more geared towards for Grant to? There was a game plan. Okay. There actually was a plan. We have a lot of numbers. We have a lot of guys. It's like one of the benefits we have at Byron. Um, Evan got in the race for a reason. He'd already made a team. And he said if it was going to be a slow race, we, he was going to take over and run 64, 65. And that's, it, I think, someone went out to the front, I was towards the back, started around 63. And then when they dropped off, Evan was like, okay, I'll just keep this going as far as I can. And then it became a race with a mile to go. What was different about Woody today versus Woody in that 10K? I didn't have a side cramp. I think, you know, and the, some things just happened. Um, I have that kick no matter what. If I was in the 10K, I think I would have had a kick too. But uh, I had, had things go my way. Yeah. What do you think, uh, you've now been made this your second team. You now, what do you think you can do uh, at Worlds this time now you got a little more experience at the international level? Well, I think it helps, for one, the fact that it's in the United States. Like, I'm not going to have any travel. Um, I'm just going to hang out with the guys. It's going to be kind of routine. So I think that's a good, that's a good thing for us. Uh, overall, I think I'm just more confident and ready to kick with these guys. Yeah. And, and Woody, to that, I mean, to be able yeah. to close in 54 in those conditions, like, yeah. I mean, that's got to be really reassuring going forward. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't an easy race. Of I mean, so. I think Grant just set the, the meet record. So, and it was 86 degrees on the track. I remember looking over and like, oh, it's 86. Like, thank God it's hot because this is hard. So, um, yeah, it feels good going forward. Grant's obviously in the shape of his life. Um, all these Bowerman guys are on the team. The Bowerman women showed up, so we're in a good place. Do you have any doubts in that last three? Do you have any doubts? Did you have any doubts? I mean, yeah, there's doubts all the time. And that's the hard thing about the 5K is, like, you have doubts every few minutes, every few seconds even. So it's like you just got to talk yourself through it and keep running. Going forward, what's your preparation like between now and words? Preparation? Same thing. I mean, we're just going back to Park City. It would be like, it would be just like last year. You go back and you're like, did that even just happen? You know, and then... All of a sudden, we're back here, and it's the World Championships. Is there anything in the race that you regret doing? Honestly, I knew the race might go like that. I knew that Grant could just... It felt like 59s. He was running 62s, apparently. But I knew that Grant knows how to beat me. So I thought, so I thought he could do that. But uh, um, all things considered, I think I ran this race really well. Where have you been in workouts? Like, obviously, Grant and Mo, like, we saw what they did earlier in the season. And so, we're, have you been up with them to, to, at that level or, or a little bit scaled back? Come to the middle, Grant. I've been with them. Grant's, uh, you know, it's, workouts are not indication of, of racing all the time. Grant's always able to finish the workouts. I'm usually, I'm able to finish some of the workouts and some types of works I'm, I'm not able to finish. But when it comes to racing, like, I think any given day, any different kinds of races, I'm going to win or Grant's going to win or, uh, you know, Lopez or Sean. So it's, I don't think the workouts are always indication of how we're going to race. Even healthy for Thank you.